really would love to know what your plan is to help lower the cost of living. Yeah. A Democratic campaign operative who is leaving the party says she worked to raise millions for the Democratic Party, only to realize their hypocrisy. They're the party of the rich. We'll put America first and we will take back our country because together we will make America powerful again. Make America wealthy again. Make America healthy again. Make America strong again. Make America proud again. Make America safe again. Make America free again. And we will make America great again. Kamala, Kamala, kid, Kamala. Well, what do we have? We have another situation where Kamala has done an unscripted interview and you know what happened. In America feels for that. And I also, everybody in America, left, right, middle, has concerns about immigration. Yeah. And I'm told that Justin, Justin, where are you in the audience? Justin. Hello. The first question that we have here is when you become president, what would you do about the borders and immigration? You ready? Are you guys ready? Are you sure to you ready? Let's see. So it's a wonderful and important question. Um, I, you know, my background was as a prosecutor and I was also the elect. Already done slipped into a word salad. Straight up and down, Kamala Harris does not support the border. She's trying to convince us that she cares about the border now that we are getting down to the wire of this election. And I have reported on a sheriff that has had previous dealings with Kamala, and he has expressed then. She absolutely does not have my support. Here in California, we want a leader who's going to support law enforcement. As you know, she helped support BLM rioters trying to bail them out of jail. She was a huge supporter of defunding the police. And he also has expressed now. Tulare County Sheriff Mike Boudreaux spoke in front of the House Judiciary Committee during a hearing titled The Biden-Harris Border Crisis, Victim Perspectives. We have migrant communities of farm workers who are now infiltrated and terrorized by those that they had fled other countries from who are now in our communities terrorizing them threatening their children to be involved in drug trafficking, gun running, drug dealing, as well as gangs and sexual activity of children. What your plan is to help lower the cost of living. Yeah, I, first of all, thank you both for being here. And yours is a, a story I hear around the country as I travel. Answer the question. Answer the question. And She's slipping into another word, a word salad. Like, what are we talking about? Having the right to have aspirations and dreams and ambitions for your family. My friend, you're not really giving us what we want. We signed up to get some good information. And, but yet, if you wanted to know, guys, we don't even have to listen to this whole soundbite. She did not answer not one person's question during this interview or rally virtual rally they had a lot of victims of abortion however did you guys notice that they did not have not one victim of immigration there's tons of families been affected by immigration that's not to say that one is more important than the other but I would like to say they're both equally important to the American people. I've been seeing that they've been doing certain different sound bites of that interview as if it was going to help push the needle. But if you watch the full interview, which I would wish and hope for all of our American people to just go find the actual video of these clips that they are pushing in front of your face. Because if you watch the full video, you will see a lot of red flags please do your research please do your research before you go out and do voting because the last thing that you want to be is an uneducated voter because Scamela harris is not the one but it's evident she's not confident she can't answer her questions why is that how can she be the commander in chief if she can't just do these simple interviews Whereas if you hear Donald Trump, what are you going to do day one? We're going to close the border. We're going to drill, baby, drill. 
She doesn't have to tell us her whole policies, but she hasn't really said one. Child tax credit, there's already a child tax credit. She's trying to increase it. whoop de doo but is that a desperate economy? I don't think so. So let's hear or let's continue to see if she will give us one policy that would make sense. Because these far left people are not really like considering the middle class, the working people. If you guys watch the audience who were in her audience, they were all elites, celebrities, entertainers in their huge mansions who don't have to worry about taxes and necessarily the hourly jobs and not getting paid enough and or being able to afford these certain things because the handlers will buy it for them if they can't afford it. So that leads us to our next news story highlight. We're now going to watch a sound bite of a Democrat who has left the Democratic Party. It's important to know in life, change is okay. Within that change, give yourself grace because you're going to come out on top no matter what. Trust yourself and you'll be just fine. So our next guest, a Democratic campaign operative who is leaving the party, says she worked to raise millions for the Democratic Party only to realize their hypocrisy. They're the party of the rich. Evan Barker joins us now. Evan, I got to tell you, I'm so fascinated by you because I was once a Democrat as well, knocked on doors. It was really my party. And then... Yes, grace is okay. As you grow up, you're going to change as you should. You're going to evolve and you're going to become a better person. And it's okay to go against what you are were brought up in. For example, my family, I've grown up with liberals. We had two conservatives in our family and the remainder of our families were liberals. Now, as I have grown older, I have my own family. We do not agree with the liberal agenda. It is just very evil, nasty work. Just to throw in a little bit. So it's okay as we get older and things affect us differently as they may have affected our, our parents. And maybe that's why they went liberal. But as we're getting older, things is more expensive. We're, we're not okay with that, for example. So that may change your vote. And guess what? It's no one's business at the end of the day. Let's keep going. Yeah. Something happened. Uh, I'm curious, what was the main thing that caused you to just say, I'm done? There was a lot of things, to be honest. I just want to say it is so crazy that I'm even speaking to you. If somebody had told me a month ago that I was going to be talking to Fox News, <laughs> um, who I've been told is the enemy, yeah. <laughs> um, I would never have believed it. Um, basically, yeah, I've worked in democratic politics a long time. Um, I've raised the millions of dollars. And I went to the DNC last month hoping to feel re-inspired and... Instead, I just felt like I was in a room with the most out of touch and elite people in the world. And, you know, I'm originally from the Midwest. Um, a lot of the people in my family are union. As we spoke on, the individuals that were in the audience for Oprah was Tracy Elliott's. Tracy Elliott's, I think her name is. You had um, uh, Chris Rock. You had um, just different celebrities that were in the audience that does not represent the what they know about a struggle. They don't know about no struggle. Again, because if they are struggling, their handlers will get it for them. Their friends, they can call their friends. They have their friends with Oprah. What do Oprah know about a struggle? Nothing. Workers are happening in unions, and they are people who once voted for Barack Obama, um, and now they vote for Donald Trump. And for a long time, I did not understand why. And after raising money for Democrats and just being in these circles, I have realized that the donors control the party. Oh, yeah. um, they control everything. They control... Um, what the candidates prioritize. 
And I know that Republicans also have this issue too, but Democrats are much bigger hypocrites about it. Mm -hmm. And so I think what it comes down to is just the hypocrisy and the fact that I don't recognize this party anymore. You know, they've become the party of Dick Cheney, of mm -hmm. Goldman Sachs, of endless proxy board. Bingo. When you grow up, things do not stay the same. So these, they like to say, we left them. They left us at the train station, at the bus station, at the airport. The train has left the station. Um, of identity politics, you know, and I'm just at a point, you know, I've been very brave the last couple of weeks and I've gotten a lot of flack from a lot of people. And I'm just at the point where I can't stand it anymore and I have to speak out, so that's why I'm here. You know, Evan, we're happy to have you on Fox News. And look, 15-year-old Lawrence Jones probably wouldn't have been on Fox News as well, but here I am. Look at him, he's just such an instigator, instigator, Fox News, come on the credible news. He's eating it all up, he's loving it too much. That's you crazy. see things change differently, right. you grow up. Uh, so let me ask you this, Evan. Uh, what happened yeah. to the party? Because I, one thing I found out is about the working class. It doesn't seem like they're even concerned about, you know, the prices when people go to the grocery store. I know, and this this clip that you that you guys just played with Oprah and like all these celebrities zooming in from their mansions. I mean, they're just telling us basically that all we need to have is optimism and joy, and that's going to fix our lives. And I'm just tired of it. I'm I'm completely fed up. Um, you know, my grandmother, she lives in Missouri. She voted for Obama twice. She's voted for Trump the last couple of times. You know, she's getting by just on her social security check right now. Mm -hmm. You know, and things have gotten so outrageously expensive. It is so difficult for her. You know, I want to see the Democratic Party talk about what they're going to do for my grandmother, not just have a bunch of celebrities fly in and tell us all to be joyful and optimistic. It's cringy, it's embarrassing. It is. Well, Evan, uh, we're happy to have you. And I tell you what, I, I want you to come back as you continue this journey. Um, and, and I'm curious, as, as this campaign goes along, I mean, we're only like 46 days away from election, uh, who you're gonna vote for? We'll bring you back on as you go through this journey. Okay. When you're tired of being sick and tired, you get fed up and you want to bring awareness and you feel almost like so silly for even have once even going through that. But the word, but the word from the wise say you have to go through the fire or you got to be a fool to know what a fool looks like. Because if you've never been a fool before, how do you know if you're being foolish? Or how do you know if you're being fooled? So you have to go through these experiences, unfortunately, to come out like gold.